The Beginning of After by Jennifer Castle. The back of the book says, anyone who's had something truly crappy happen to them will tell you. It's all about before and after. What I'm talking about here is the kapow, shake you to your core and turn your bones to plastic kind of crappy. 16-year-old Laurel, 16-year-old Laurel's world changes instantly when her parents and brother are killed in a terrible car accident. Behind the wheel is the father of her bad boy neighbor, David Kaufman, whose mother is also killed. In the aftermath of the tragedy, Laurel navigates a new reality in which she and her best friend grow apart. Boys may or may not be approaching her out of pity. Overpowering memories lurk everywhere, and Mr. Kaufman is comatose, but still very much alive. Through, through it all, there is David, who swoops in and out of Laurel's life, and to whom she finds herself attracted against her better judgment. She will forever be connected to him by their mutual loss, a connection that will change them both in unexpected ways. Jennifer Castle's debut novel is a heart-wrenching, surprisingly witty testament to how drastically life can change in the span of a single moment. These are my thoughts about the book. I've been trying to pick up more contemporary books this year, and it seems that all of them have been about dealing with death. So far, this is one I would recommend to my friends. I felt that this book dealt more with the relationships between people after a tragic loss. Although we follow the story of Laurel, this story incorporates how differently people deal with loss of loved ones. Laurel's way of dealing is different than David and different than her grandmother's. I've read reviews on this book and find people saying that nothing happens, that it's boring, but it really is not a story with a lot of action. It's a story of growth, loss, and life. The interactions which, between people and even how pets can help with loneliness. The human need to have something or someone to care for. Looking to others for strength and that sometimes moving on is a slow process with baby steps. I think a huge part of this story also incorporates forgiveness. In situations like this you want to blame others for what happened even if others are responsible. There is a degree of forgiveness that must be given to be able to move on. I found the story deeper and better to understand than others I have read previously. Even though there is not a lot of things happening, I feel much more connected to these characters and even though I have not had many tragedies in my life, I felt that I could understand what they were going through. Even without added elements of too much drama, ghosts, or teenage angst, the story was real for me, and it touched more to my style of contemporary novels. I was about to give up the hope on continuing to find any contemporary stories to read, but I really did enjoy this one, and it gives me hope to continue finding more like this in the future. I definitely recommend it. I give it four stars, and thank you for watching.